Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial video, we're going to create a Memorial Day video in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. As Memorial Day approaches, it's important to reflect on the sacrifices that our brave service members have made for our country. One way to commemorate their courage and share a heartfelt message of gratitude is by making a Doodly whiteboard video which we'll do today. We'll start by composing a short message and write that message down on the whiteboard. Then in Doodly, we'll add some graphics to accompany it and add some music or sound effects. So let's start off by writing our message for Memorial Day. This doesn't need to be long or overly sentimental. In fact, let's just keep it simple. So I'm gonna need some text. And I did like that font that I had, this or get regular. I'm going to choose word wrap just in case. And then I do want another line here. Okay, so we have two lines of text and they're very simple heartfelt for the brave service members who lost their lives for this country. We honor you, we remember, and we thank you. So I think that will be a nice sentiment to have. And we just kind of want to lay it out so that it looks nice. Now this is not my final layout because we don't know what all is going <laughs> to appear here. So we do need a background of some sort. And since it's a somber holiday, I think a photo will be appropriate. So maybe a tombstone, soldiers, or a battlefield. Something that signifies sacrifice and duty. So let's head over to pixabay.com. That's where I found that flag in that earlier image. And we're gonna do a search. And let's search for Memorial Day. Let's see what comes up. Don't necessarily want illustrations. Oh, let's go ahead and just search everything. And now we have tons of choices. Just right off the bat, I really like this one. It's black and white, but then the flags are in color and it will make a nice background, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And I'm gonna go back into Doodly and bring it in. So once again, I go to props, plus sign, browse for my files, it's in downloads, and here it is. We could rename it if you'd like. And then we're just going to need to resize it so it fits. Now it's a strange um, aspect ratio, so we're going to need to stretch it out beyond our canvas size here. So there's a couple of tricks that I'll show you. You can make these go away by clicking that so you have more space. And then you can just go ahead and enlarge it. So I think that looks just fine. You can kind of play around with how you want it to be, but I think that looks good. And then I do want to turn the opacity down. So I'm going to go way down. I'm going to go, let's say 20%. It's going to lighten it up quite a bit. And we want to get our panels back. And we want this to be the bottom layer, so I'm gonna move that there. And that's gonna look nice, I think. Now we can fine tune the sizing of this. And I think this is starting to look nice. Let's do some timing. We want the background just to be a background, so we're gonna change it to zero, so it just starts that way. And then we have our text that's coming on and We'll probably put a little gap between the two. So let's make a one and a half second delay before this one comes on. Looks like I have a little white line showing where my photo is not quite where it needs to be. So I'm just gonna drag that up. So we don't want any white showing. Now we have room at the bottom here if you wanna add you know, like emblems of the different service organizations that you know maybe you're honoring 
your grandfather and he was in the US Army or maybe you want them all maybe you want US Army Marine Corps Navy etc so you could do that or maybe you want to use a poppy which is a symbol that's kind of associated with Memorial Day more so overseas but that's an idea that you could do or you could even add characters so you did see earlier I had some characters that were soldiers and I just typed in soldier and they appeared. These are enterprise characters. So if you have standard, I'm sorry, you'll have to look elsewhere for some characters. And that's going to give it a different look. You know, it's a line drawing on top of a photograph. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. And then finally, maybe we want to add some music, just some light background music. Now this is going to be short. By the time I add an ending, it's going to be maybe 10, 11 seconds long. So we don't need a whole lot of music. So this may or may not be a good idea. We'll see. So go over to sounds and music. And then you're just going to want to find something just really simple. You're not going to want it to be cheery and it's just very somber. So you're going to want something that's going to be slow and unobtrusive. Yeah, I think that will be fine. So we're going to put that in. And let's go ahead and extend our scene. Let's just add, let's say seven seconds, give some time to just read and appreciate it. So now we're just going to shrink the music down so that it fits our scene. And then we're going to right click, choose fade out, and we're just going to make it a long, slow fade. So it's kind of silly. We put this big build up and then we have it fade out. So it may not be what we have in mind, but let's take a listen and see. Not so sure about the music but that's something we could deal with later so this came on really fast so we want to slow it down remember this is a very serious message that we're doing so we don't want it to be too fast we want to just give it some time so let's have a two second delay before it even comes on and then let's have the duration much slower Let's start with two and a half seconds and see. And then likewise, that can be even longer. And this can be slowed down a little bit more. And our soldier, give that a delay. I, I think I'd like to add some more down here. And now that gives us a little bit of time to stretch out the music. Let's turn the music down. Go 45%. I'm not going to add a voiceover to it, so I think 45% will be fine. And let's add some more characters down here, and then let's have them come on before this final line. So here she is, and let's go back to the characters. We could even add props. Let's see if we have anything army. Yeah, so we could add a jeep if we'd like. I'm going to flip it fighter jet and we have that up there and these are just things you kind of play around with to get the layout how you'd like it now again we want these to come on before our final line so we want to think about the order so for the brave service members who lost their lives for this country and then I think the jet can come in and then the Jeep and then let's have the soldier now you could also, if you were honoring a particular service member, you know, say it's your grandfather, you could put a picture of him here, you know, that would be really nice, him in uniform, and then maybe in memory of down below, that would be really nice. I'm going to make this last line a little bit slower. And then I'm going to, once again, stretch out the audio, and I think 
this will be a wrap. Let's just take one final look. And that's the basics of creating a Memorial Day video in Doodly. Thanks for watching, and if you're a service member, thank you for your service.